Let me go ahead and kill all this internet cat Jake Paul got going on for y'all. Look, I'm a bridge away. I campaign at bridge away, um, or otherwise known as heavyweight uh, outside of WBC. Now look, um, I, I signed a contract to make 200 pounds within the, the three or three and a half weeks that I had to do it, but I couldn't do it. I sent my body simply would not let me do it, would not let me get down to 200 pounds. But where in boxing do y'all see them canceling fights a whole week in advance? I didn't even get my last week to get down as low as I could. Um, I told this man, is, is penalties involved? Keep the purse. Keep the purse. I fight you for the for the five thousand dollar minimum. That's how that's how much it means to me, and that's how much faith I have in knocking him out. I would have beat this man uh, uh, with, with with one hand, just like I did in the gym. But let him tell it. He already beat my ass in the gym when I was two thirty. So if you beat me up while I was two thirty, what's the problem in fighting me while I'm two fifteen? What's the problem fighting me at two ten? It's 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 clearly a uh, a. Uh, uh, them not wanting to fight. It's not me pulling out the fight. It's them not wanting to fight. I never said that I didn't want this fight. And, and the only thing that I can conclude is that they scared. I mean, they tried to drain me down. I told them, I, look, I ain't going to be able to get all the way down to cruiserweight. I mean, it, it was it was a, a astronomical feat in and of itself from the beginning from the beginning, when they called me to spar him for, for Anderson Silva, I told them where my weight was. They knew where my weight was, and they knew I was going to have to lose about a pound a day for 30 days in order to make 200 pounds. Now, with all that aside, still, if I wasn't able to make the weight, they knew that we had a replacement on the side the whole time. He's been doing everything I've been doing this whole camp. The Muslim boxer, Muslim Kaysen, who campaigns at Cruiserweight, who wouldn't have to have drained himself, who could have saved the show. And... Jake Paul could have fought a real boxer, but he don't want to fight a real fighter. He don't want to fight a real fight. He wanted to drain me down and, and, and fight a shell of me, which I'm not going to allow him to do. Now, they didn't they didn't move the goalposts and uh, move the finish line closer and have me weigh in all these extra days early and and, and, and then pull a plug on the fight like, like we don't want to fight. My team's 100%. Still wanted to fight, still ready, willing, and, and, and able to, to knock out Jake Paul on August 6th. So y'all blame your boy Jake Paul for this fight not happening. It ain't had nothing to do with, 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 with me or my team. We let them know what the real was, and Jake Paul scared to, to, to make the fight. All he got to do is say, okay, I beat you up at 2.30. I beat you up at 2.15. I'm still coming down and wait. Or uh, I beat you up at 210. I'm still I'm still coming down the weight, but he don't want to do it because he don't want a real competitive fight. He wanted me to be a, a a shell of myself when we got in there and got in that ring. But like I said before, I fight for all the Muslims in the world. Tuck beer. I will be back and I will be world champion, inshallah, one day. Y'all gonna see me again. We're gonna be right right at y'all, full fledged and focused.